spot impossible to adjust. That's why the, the worst possible delivery is uh, one that, uh, if you're a batsman, one that moves off the seam when pitched around about there. Swing, you can, uh, you can read a bit earlier. And when you have a little combination of both, Oh, well bowled. Well, they have asked the question. No, says the umpire. I think they're thinking that he scooped it up. Well, now, hang on. He's going across the square leg. There was definitely, I mean, he obviously hit the ball. The question was, did he hit it into the ground? Did he hit it onto his boot? Did he scoop it? Well, he plays those in unusual fashion at times. You would assume that he's jammed it, that the ball is hitting the pitch with the bottom of the bat and it'll be not out, but he might have just scooped it. You are dead right. He does. He is a player who hits the ball into the ground a lot. Like he hits down on the shot. Did he hit into the boot, though? Let's see what he does here. There's the, there's the ball. Boy, well, that's hit the ground and gone up. That's hit the ground and gone up, and the Aussies are all starting to celebrate. Let's see. Down and then up. Look where it hits the bat. Up, up she goes, and away she goes. Yes, I'm afraid to say that uh, this is bad news for Doni. Doni's standing there, uh, he now is starting to look a little bit worried. Uh, the message is about to be relayed uh, via the big screen out there, and uh, yep, it's all over. Well, you have to say the Aussies, to a man from the slipcorn came up, they were... They were sure about it straight away. Hilfenhaus is having a ball. Well, there's another one. He didn't realise he bowled latch, but he didn't realise that this was a catch. So it's good on him for taking the catch securely, as he should. It was just lobbed back at him. He wasn't sure. Everyone else was, though. What a bonus. And he's got four. India, six for 286. The Australians ploughing through the Indian middle order. It was slow going before lunch, just one wicket. Now it's starting to happen. The second new ball is in, and so is R. Ashwin. His fifth match, averaging 33.67. It's pretty good, and he has a crack at a good strike rate, but strike rate means nothing now. They've got a day and a half to survive. Patson continues, and Coley... They're the same as Ashwin, under pressure and raw. See if he can survive. Welcome, Tubbs. Ian? Yeah, well, as, as the previous commentator said, it's a strange dismissal because he plays it in a strange way. It's a Yorker, really. And most batsmen would hit down on that ball to try and just squeeze it out, but he's actually scooping it up. I, I don't really know why he's playing it that way. And in the end, he just shovels it back to Hilfenhaus, who <laughs> can't really believe it. Well, I've been calling his offside play shovel shots. He does shovel balls with a strong bottom hand, and it was to his detriment today. That is for sure. Unlucky. Beautiful bowling, though. Hilfenhaus has done very well in this match. He's got the ball to swing. He's bowled a very good line in length. Hasn't been too short. Four for 67. That is, as you say, Bill, that's a terrific return. Second innings scg test match on a very good pitch to be a fast bowler and mainly a swing bowler four for 67 it's terrific seven wickets at the mcg as well he's pretty close to the man of the match down there it's been a great comeback by the big tasmanian the length is right look that six meter mark right on a good length you see the ball and then the big one on a two meter length 